वेलकम बैक एवरी वन टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ क्विक रिव्यू एंड टूडेज ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम वुड बी वेल्ट ओ एस नाउ वेल्ट ओ एस इज अ बेट डिफरेंटली डिजाइंड ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इन द सेंस दैट इट्स नॉट डिजाइन बाय अ सिंगल टीम इट्स एक्चुअली डिजाइन बेस्ड ऑन वोटिंग एंड डिस्कशन बाय द कम्यूनिटी सो दे हैव अ बिग कम्यूनिटी वेर पीपल कैन कम इन एंड वोट ऑन फीचर्स एंड other stuff like that so uh this is what their voting forum looks like and yes yeah, so this uh, operating system is pretty much community design and they say that it is a user designed operating system so that means that you guys can choose what uh, features go in and what features don't so it's actually based on uh, arc linux and as you know arc linux is not a very easy to install operating system and neither is welt now welt for now is uh, only available as a live uh, boot disk but you can actually install it if you already have arc linux running so this is how you can install it using arc linux already running and then here we have uh, the download i will be reviewing the technical preview too uh, so without further ado uh let's get started so as you can see it's um so much based on arc linux that the boot screen is basically what you will get if you are running arc and um this is only a technical preview so they don't have uh my much stuff like uh boot splash and all of that stuff figured out so it's just the plain simple operating system for now and i think you guys will like it because all the graphical user elements have been designed from scratch all right so this is what it looks like it won't go uh at a higher resolution that this uh, than this because i am running it on a virtual machine so uh we'll just log in and uh, let the ui load so this is um, what it basically looks like up front we have some custom icons so let's go ahead and open up the uh, home uh, and what we get is a file manager now you can see this ui doesn't really resemble any existing um graphical user interface but on their website they do mention that it's based on um graphene desktop so this is what they are calling the graphene desktop so let's go back into the operating system uh, again uh, everything is custom built and built according to what people like so this is our then again we have the same thing there is no minimize button or option right now so i think the only thing you can do is um close the window i don't think there is any minimize option right now i'm right clicking and nothing is happening so uh, i'll just quit i guess and then this is the area where our um menu is so this is our menu Now I'm really sorry if you if you guys can't see the mouse uh probably it's switched off on the recorder or something I'll uh, get back to that uh in my next video probably but uh for now uh this is the uh menu so let's open up a calculator again everything is custom designed uh the graphene desktop is built up from scratch and i think it looks pretty beautiful it really resembles the uh, metro ui style or you can call the material user interface the flat theme the everything is flat uh, there is no gloss or such so um one of the more interesting things that i found was the uh text editor uh so the g edit text editor has also been modified quite a bit so again it's on the same um graphene ui i think it looks really pretty with all the 
all the windows having completely different colors custom to what they are and um, let's go ahead into preferences and I'll show you what I really mean so you can select this and then uh, we have the option of display line numbers so I guess if you're writing a code this uh, stuff is really helpful and you know you can write some uh, code or the other and then it uh, increases the line number as you move forward so uh, I found this really uh, nice I don't know if Gedit already has this but I think it looks really nice in the user interface for now so then again this is our clock and right next to the clock on the lower uh, left on the lower right corner we have our notification or a settings um, panel so right now they say that uh, you will be able to change settings here but uh, right now they are using gnome uh, settings or control center kind of a program so it is a basically gnome control center and you can also see when I am scrolling up there is some sort of an animation of course it's not perfect but there is that uh, animation when the page ends so this is where all the settings go um, let's go into the detail looks look at what we are running so of course we are running uh, at only two gigabytes of memory it's a very light ui and that's about it so let's open up a couple other applications that are not a uh, custom design so let's i'm going to open something like uh, LibreOffice, and this is what um linux based word editor would look like all right then again some of the elements are still the same because that's how they are built into the program into the LibreOffice program but uh, what we have is there uh, it kind of um, merges into the uh, graphene desktop pretty well so again it's more of a basic custom desktop job than anything else people have been using Arc Linux for a long time now Arc is something that you can really go ahead and customize to your liking and I think these guys these guys did a great job at that so uh, this is about it it's a very very uh, early stage of development so there's nothing not a lot to it and just for the fun uh, just for the sake of it let's look at what kernel we are running so we are running at 4.4.5 which is pretty recent uh, in terms of stable kernels and then again it's a 64 bit build and only 64 bit is supported now so again uh, i am just playing around with the um, file manager and because this seems to be the most custom thing i could find and you can see how the ui really um, blends into it and i don't think this is pc man fm but uh, no so it's not uh, pc man fm but uh, yeah so it's a custom job whatever this is and what i'll do is go ahead and create a new file so uh, and here you can see new.txt copy and paste and then new folder is so this is how the new folder dialog looks like so everything is custom you won't find a ui like this on other linux based operating system so again really nice job with the whole custom thing so um yeah thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you in the next one and of course do let me know what next operating system you guys want me to review and if i find something really rare and nice like 
uh, wait uh, i will get back to you guys thank you so much for watching